Hi, welcome to Uncle Tim's Farm. I'm Uncle Tim, and today you and I are going to witness a showdown between a master-built 30-inch digital electric smoker and my custom-built 48-inch digital electric smoker. I'm not sure what I should call my smoker. Green machine? I'm, I'm not sure. If you have a suggestion, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know. Okay, for the, today's showdown, I'm going to be cooking pork Boston butt shoulder roast, and they're nearly identical in size and weight. I'll cook one in each smoker, of course, and I'll be cooking at the same temperature in both smokers, 250 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll use the same hickory chips in both to make that equal. And at the end, we'll take a look at the roast, we'll taste them, we'll smell them to see if there's any noticeable difference in flavor, smokiness, or overall appearance. All right, I've got both smokers out and plugged in, so I'll load them up with wood chips. And of course, I'll be using hickory, as that is my favorite. If you want to get these same chips, there's a link in the description. And all of those links below, or nearly all of those links below, are affiliate links, so I will get a little bit of a commission, but it doesn't cost you any extra. As you can see, the pan for wood chips is quite a bit larger in my smoker than in the master built, and this will definitely be noticeable throughout the cook. Okay, I'll set the temperature to 250 degrees Fahrenheit on both smokers, and then I will let them do their thing. My smoker's actually already set to 250 degrees, so all I have to do is turn it on. While the smokers are heating up, I'll prepare the shoulders. I'll be using my Uncle Tim's T13 for the rub, and I will apply it very liberally to all sides of the roast. If you want to get yourself some T13, or a carnivore hat like the one I'm wearing, or a t-shirt like the one I'm wearing that you'll see at the end of this video, go ahead and jump on over to UncleTimsFarm.com and check out all of my merchandise. Once I have the roast all seasoned up, I'll take a knife and poke holes down through the fat cap so that as the roast cook and the fat renders, it will work its way down into the meat easier, which keeps the meat from drying out. There's not much worse than dry, pulled pork, and it will pull some of the seasoning along with it to add flavor down deep in the roast. Okay, both of the smokers are up to temp. The master built took about 30 minutes to reach 250 and my smoker took a little bit closer to an hour, but that's to be expected since mine has five times the space inside as the master built. I'll go ahead and get the roast placed in each of the smokers and I'll let them go until somewhere in the 170 degree range before I wrap them.
I'm not sure why I didn't think of this before I got the smokers hot, but I didn't get the racks set beforehand, so now I'm having to do it while they're hot. And now we're cooking. Wow, what a beautiful morning. And this is the part where the small wood tray in the master built comes into play. I had to refill the chip tray every hour in the master built. In my smoker, I had to refill mine twice. Okay, we're two hours into the cook. I'm gonna take a quick look. Both of the pork shoulders are within one degree of each other. One's 88 and one is 89. The one in the master built is at internal temp of 88 degrees. It's looking pretty good. The one in my smoker is at 89, or actually just bumped up to 90. It's looking real good too. This is after four hours. Four hours. That is looking really, really good. That looks really good as well. Although it does appear to be a little drier. Hopefully that's not the case. The fat is just starting to turn gelatinous, so it's nearly time to wrap. Okay, 30 minutes later and the shoulders are ready to wrap. So you notice that I'm wrapping with butcher paper first and then I'll go ahead and put them in a foil pan. The reason that I'm Using butcher paper first is that I recently discovered that salt in direct contact reacts with aluminum causing it to break down and basically dissolve. And when it dissolves it gets on the food which can't be good for a person. So now I wrap with the paper first to keep a protective layer between the meat and the foil. You'll notice I got smart and put cotton gloves under the rubber gloves. That way I could handle the hot stuff without getting burned.
The reason I use the foil pans is to catch all the drippings so that I can use that to mix in with the meat later on when I pull it. All right, these have been resting for several hours. Go ahead and get them unwrapped. And give them a taste. So this one here, yeah, this is the one from the master built smoker. This one here is from my smoker. Ooh, they both look fantastic. Go ahead and see. Mm, yep, that one is done. And that one is done. Oh, those both look fantastic. Nice bark. Let's see if we can see. Mm, that looks fabulous. Chunk of this. Ooh, that's hot. Whew. Yep. Mm. They both look delicious. Mm. Man. That there we go. Yep. Okay, it's the moment of truth. It's time to taste both of these and see if there's any difference, and if there is, which one is better. So, first I'll take a taste of the, this is from the Master Built Smoker. Hmm, that's really good. All right, now it's time for a taste from my smoker. That's really good too, boy. I don't know if there's master built. Boy, they're pretty much exactly the same. I, I really can't tell a difference. Equal amount of smokiness. They, they look the same. Equal amount of moisture throughout the cook. They both maintain the same temperature. They were within one degree the entire time. Both those roasts weighed almost exactly the same. Um, I don't know. To me, they both taste... Pretty similar. I mean, there's not the smokiness is equal, equal amount of seasoning as you saw when I seasoned them. So I'd have to call this a draw. Well, thanks for joining me on the farm today, and don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss the next savory cook or whatever else I've got going. Yummy. See you next time. Mm -hmm.